Have you ever thought about what's really in the perfume you spray on your skin every day? It's a question that many of us overlook in our daily hustle and bustle. But it's worth pausing to consider. Perfumes and colognes have become an integral part of our routines, a final touch to our attire, a signature of our personal style, but let's delve a bit deeper. What if I told you that the sweet, intoxicating scent you adore might not be as innocent as it seems? It's easy to be swept away by the allure of exotic fragrances and the promise of an irresistible aura. However, the truth is there's a hidden world behind that misty spritz of allure. Perfumes, colognes, scented lotions, and other fragranced products are a cocktail of ingredients. Some, like natural essential oils, are familiar, but many others are complex chemical compounds that are far from benign. And here's the twist, many of these ingredients remain undisclosed. Why, you might ask? The answer lies in a term called trade secrets. Proprietary laws allow perfume manufacturers to withhold the full list of ingredients in their products. These secrets are protected under the guise of preserving the unique signature scent of the perfume. But this lack of transparency leaves us, the consumers, in the dark. We're not just talking about a handful of hidden ingredients. Some perfumes can contain over 300 different components. That's 300 potential substances interacting with your skin, your body's largest organ, every single day. And let's not forget, our skin is not an impenetrable barrier. It absorbs what we put on it, allowing substances to enter our bloodstream. Now, imagine those undisclosed, potentially harmful ingredients making their way into your body. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? So, as we stand there in front of our mirrors, applying that final spritz of perfume, it's worth asking ourselves what we're really applying. What's lurking beneath the surface of that beautiful bottle? It's time to pull back the curtain on the perfume industry. Meet Jane, a perfume lover who got more than just a pleasant scent from her favorite brand. Jane was a perfume aficionado, always on the hunt for the next captivating fragrance. However, what started as a harmless indulgence soon turned into a health hazard. Jane began to notice red itchy patches on her skin, typically where she sprayed her perfume. She initially dismissed it as a minor irritation, but the rashes grew more severe and persistent over time. Accompanying these skin reactions were bouts of sneezing, shortness of breath, and even wheezing. These weren't just your run-of-the-mill allergies. Jane was experiencing respiratory issues, and they seemed to escalate every time she used her favorite perfume. Bewildered and concerned, Jane decided to consult a dermatologist who confirmed her worst fears. She was indeed allergic to her beloved perfume, the culprits, certain chemical compounds found in fragrance formulations that can trigger allergic reactions. Now, you may think that Jane's case is an isolated incident, but it isn't. Allergic reactions to perfumes are more common than we'd like to believe. Numerous scientific studies have backed this up. A study published in the Contact Dermatitis Journal found that one in five adults showed allergic reactions to at least one fragrance ingredient. Another research published in the Journal of Environmental Health Perspectives revealed that over 30% of the population reported health problems including respiratory issues and migraines, from exposure to fragranced products. So what does this mean for all of us who enjoy a spritz of perfume now and then? It's a wake-up call. It's a reminder that what smells good might not always be good for us. That the captivating scent we're drawn to might carry hidden threats that can harm our health. We need to be aware of potential allergens in perfumes and other fragrance products. We need to pay attention to our bodies, to the signs they give us when something isn't right. Jane's story is far from unique. Many people experience adverse reactions to perfumes. And it's high time we took these reactions seriously. After all, our health should always take precedence over pleasant scents. Now consider John, whose daily cologne use led to unexpected health complications. John, a healthy and active man in his early 30s, began to experience peculiar symptoms. His energy levels dropped, he gained weight, and he was often moody. After extensive medical investigations, he was diagnosed with a hormonal imbalance. Baffled, John couldn't understand how he, a fitness enthusiast, could have developed such a condition. His quest for answers led him to his cologne bottle. As it turns out, Numerous scientific studies have suggested that certain chemicals found in perfumes and colognes might act as endocrine disruptors. These are substances that interfere with the body's endocrine system and produce adverse developmental, reproductive, neurological, and immune effects. They mimic our hormones, trick the body, and can throw our hormonal system out of balance. 
One such study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health found that many fragrances contain phthalates. These chemicals are known to disrupt the endocrine system and they're not just in perfumes. They're in everyday items like plastic containers and toys, but in John's case, his daily spritz of cologne was the primary suspect. While John's case is extreme, it's not unique. In a study by the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, many participants showed signs of hormonal disruptions, potentially linked to the use of personal care products like perfumes and deodorants. Of course, not everyone who uses cologne will develop a hormonal imbalance. We all have different bodies with varying degrees of sensitivity. However, these studies do highlight the potential risks associated with the chemicals found in fragrances. John's journey is a wake-up call. It's a reminder that even things that seem harmless, like the cologne we use to smell good, can have hidden dangers. We should be aware, we should be informed, and we should make choices that prioritize our health. John's case is a stark reminder of the hidden dangers lurking in our fragrances. After all, it's not just about smelling good, it's about feeling good too. And sometimes, that might mean choosing to go fragrance-free. We've seen the effects on Jane and John, but what are the broader implications of harmful perfume ingredients? Let's delve deeper. Perfumes are a cocktail of chemicals, many of which have been associated with a range of health issues. These can be as mild as a headache or as serious as cancer. Yes, you heard it right. Certain chemicals found in perfumes have been linked to the big C. A report by the National Academy of Sciences, for instance, listed fragrance ingredients as one of several categories of chemicals that should be given high priority for neurotoxicity testing. The chemicals in question, those commonly found in perfumes. Take phthalates, a group of chemicals used in hundreds of products, including perfumes, to increase their flexibility and softness. Studies have shown a connection between these chemicals and a host of health problems, including hormonal disruptions, birth defects, and reproductive harm. Then there's something called styrene. The International Agency for Research on Cancer classifies styrene as a possible human carcinogen. And guess where it's often found? In your favorite bottle of perfume. And the list doesn't end there. Perfumes can also trigger asthma attacks. A study by the Association of Occupational and Environmental Clinics found that exposure to fragrances in the workplace can cause both asthma and asthma-like symptoms. And we haven't even touched on the potential for allergic reactions, skin irritations, and migraines. To sum up, the cocktail of chemicals you spray on your body every day may be more harmful than you think, and it's not just you who's at risk. These chemicals can affect anyone who comes into contact with them, including children, pets, and even unborn babies. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? The very thing that makes us feel attractive and confident can also be causing us harm. But don't despair. There are alternatives out there, healthier ways to smell good. We'll explore those in the next scene. The risks of perfume use are real and far-reaching. So what can you do to stay safe and still smell great? Now that we've unveiled the hidden dangers of conventional perfumes, let's explore the world of natural alternatives. Essential oils are one such alternative. They're extracted from plants and carry the essence of the plant's fragrance. Each essential oil has its own unique concoction of natural chemicals that provide a variety of health benefits. Lavender, for example, is known for its calming effects, while peppermint can help you feel invigorated and alert. By using essential oils, you're not only choosing a safer scent, but also reaping the benefits of aromatherapy. Now let's talk about DIY fragrance recipes. Crafting your own personal scent can be a fun and rewarding experience. It's as simple as combining your favorite essential oils with a carrier oil, like jojoba or sweet almond. You control the ingredients, which means you know exactly what's going on to your skin. No hidden toxins, no hormone disruptors, just pure, natural fragrance. And let's not forget about the environmental impact. Conventional perfumes often contain petrochemicals which contribute to air and water pollution. On the other hand, essential oils are biodegradable and their production has a lower environmental footprint. Plus, by making your own perfume, you can reuse the same bottle over and over again, reducing waste. There are also a myriad of natural perfume brands popping up in the market, choosing to leave out harmful synthetics and opting for eco-friendly packaging. Supporting these businesses is another way to champion health and sustainability. So you see, natural alternatives to conventional perfumes offer a multitude of benefits. They're better for your health, kinder to the environment, and give you the opportunity to create a scent that's uniquely yours. It's time to make a switch. Choose natural, choose health, choose sustainability. Your body and the planet will thank you.